Alright, I'm, I'm Ben Piper. I'm going to talk to you once again, Captain Bournemouth Union Cross, going through some of the basics of uh, lacrosse with you. This time we're going to do a bit of cradling. It's an important uh, part of lacrosse as uh, it, it enables you to keep the ball in your stick at all times, uh, enables you to carry off checks a little bit better because you're going to be able to keep, uh, keep the ball in your stick night even when you get checked. Okay. Um, first things first, when you're running with the ball, uh, you normally have one hand at the top, one hand at the bottom, unless you're just about to shoot, but at this point we're just going to hold it like this, all right? And the bottom. You need the stick nice and loose, probably going to be in the palm of your hand like that, all right? So it's nice and loose in there. And all you're going to do is when you run, it's natural motion when you run is this motion here, all right? So in, an, in effect, it enables you to uh, create a little bit better. So all you're going to do is that, okay? It's all in the motion, it's in the arms, but it's opening and closing your hand. I can hope my wrist could stay exactly where it is and I'll still be able to cradle really well because the opening and closing of my fingers that does most of the work and it's just your arm from your shoulder that really helps you out as well. Just that kind of motion there. So in effect, when you're running, you have to kind of time yourself like this. I know it looks a bit stupid me standing still, but that's the kind of motion you get, all right? You don't want to be going a bit off the key and doing a bit of the power cradle like that, but it's kind of a motion run like this, okay? Um, that's two-handed cradle. Sometimes you want to go to a one-handed cradle. What that means is if the defender's on you and he's hitting your bottom hand right here, you want to get that, that butt end away from him. Because if he gets a hold of that butt end, put, pause it up, the ball can drop out. But if you go like this, get the stick away from you, get your elbow nice and tucked in right into your rib cage, keep the ball like that. And once again, it's the opening and closing of the fingers that really really set it apart, all right? So it's just doing that, making sure the stick's nice and protected. So if my defender's out here, got my arm nice and locked out here, I'm just really keeping this thing behind, uh, the stick behind me. So what that means is, defender has no chance of checking my stick, because it's right in between me and the body. So I'm keeping it like that, like that, so you can keep it nice and steady like this. What this hand does is really keep, gives you more, um, gives you more room to work with. If you're like this, you've only got this much room for the defender to get through to check. If I'm like this, there's another half of a foot there added on to protect myself, all right? So that's a one-handed cradle. It's another basics of the cross. Thank you.